Hello everyone, this is Raymond Lee of Raymond Stemtal Solutions. Today, we delve into the intriguing topic of CO2 laser treatment effects on fibroblast attachment to root surfaces, as analyzed in the paper by Al Crispy. Let's explore the implications of this research and discover how our Yoshida CO2 laser can revolutionize dental practices. Periodontal disease compromises the attachment of fibroblast to root surfaces, a critical factor for periodontal healing. Traditional treatments such as scaling and root planning SRP, often leave behind a smear layer that can obstruct the reattachment of connective tissues. The study aimed to explore the potential of CO2 laser treatment as an adjunct or an alternative to SRP, focusing on its ability to enhance fibroblast attachment to diseased root surfaces. This comparison is crucial for advancing periodontal therapy techniques and improving patient outcomes. The study involved 30 single rooted human teeth extracted due to severe periodontal damage. These were sanctioned to create 60 specimens which were then randomized into three groups. An untreated control, SRP alone, and CO2 laser treatment combined with ultrasonic scaling. Each specimen underwent a specific treatment before being incubated in fibroblast suspension. The attachment of fibroblast to these treated surfaces were then assessed using scanning electron microscopy, SEM, providing a detailed view of the cellular interactions at the microscopic level. The SEM analysis yielded several key findings. Control group showed minimal fibroblast attachment with cells appearing mostly round, indicating a lack of integration with the root surface. This group's lack of treatment resulted in surfaces that were not conducive to cell attachment, likely due to the presence of bacterial endotoxins and smear layer. SRP group demonstrated an improvement in fibroblast attachment compared to the control with a mix of round and flat fibroblast observed. However, some residual bacterial cells were still present, suggesting that while SRP can enhance fibroblast attachment, it may not completely eliminate bacterial contamination. Laser plus scaling group exhibited the highest level of fibroblast attachment with a predominance of flat, well-attached fibroblast. Notably, the root surfaces treated with the laser showed no damage or morphological changes, indicating that the laser treatment could effectively condition the root surface without adverse effects. The study concludes that CO2 laser treatment, particularly when used in a defocused, pulsed mode with low power in conjunction with mechanical scaling, significantly enhances fibroblast attachment to periodontally affected root surfaces. This finding is pivotal for periodontal therapy, suggesting that CO2 laser treatment can effectively prepare root surfaces for the reattachment of connective tissues without damaging the root or altering its morphology. The laser's ability to remove the smear layer and potentially sterilize the root surface without causing thermal damage presents a significant advancement over traditional mechanical debridement method. This approach not only facilitates better attachment of fibroblasts, which are crucial for tissue regeneration, but also offers a method that could reduce 
the bacterial load without relying on antibiotics. However, the study also notes the need for further in vivo research to validate these in vitro findings comprehensively. Such studies would help establish optimized protocols for laser use in periodontal therapy, potentially leading to more effective treatments for periodontal disease, better patient outcomes, and a broader application of laser technology in dental practice. If you need more specific information, you can check the link below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Your successful business is my primary concern.